Clash of the Titans. Oh yeah, welcome to the channel where fashion meets fragrance. My name is Kevin Samuel, just style godfather. In today's video we have Godzilla versus King Ghidorah, the authentic clash of the titans. If you like this kind of video, cool, go ahead, subscribe, drop a like down below. Shout out to the CIA, what's going on you modern sexy savages? Guys, today we have a doozy. And today we have a doozy. I've talked about Clash of the Titans before, Clash of this, Clash of that. However, today we have the superpower Godzilla versus King Ghidorah. What are those fragrances? Bleu de Chanel Parfum and Dior Sauvage Parfum. This is the top of the Bleu de Chanel line and the top of the Dior Sauvage line. How will they match up? This one is going to be an official clash and one will come out on top. Shout out to the CIA. One love, FBI. If you want to become part of the movement, make sure you join me on Patreon for exclusive video and live stream content. Join me on that platform for things you will only see there. Details down in the description. First up, let's take Blue de Chanel. The Chanel fragrance that took the market by storm. Now, I understand a lot of people in the quote unquote fragrance community didn't think a whole lot of this generic kind of cash grab offer, but that is for us fragrance freaks. The world love this fragrance. You go in almost any modern guy's home and you will see this little square bottle sitting on his counter, either the EDT or the EDP. But this is the Parfum version. And what it did is it took everything that I liked about the original, blended it with the EDP, smoothed it out, and gave me a much more sophisticated wear. I dig Blue de Chanel Parfum better than any of the line. Take everything I just said about the Chanel and transfer it over to the Dior. They took what I liked about the EDP and mixed it with the EDT. Took the bergamot and they took the bergamot citrus kind of thing in the opening mixed it with the amber, the woods, and actually injected frankincense down to the base. You know what this actually reminds me of? If you've ever looked at some of the old school NBA tapes, this is Magic versus Bird. That is this matchup. Heavyweight matchup. Bird was the guy who put in the hard work to practice, the workman. While Magic Johnson was the guy with the glitz, the glamour, showtime. When I think of these two fragrances, it's that kind of matchup. The question is, which one came out on top? Magic Johnson's Lakers or Larry Bird's Celtics? When we get right down to it, both of these rank highly in compliments. They perform about the same length on my skin, six to eight hours. They project about the same two to three feet, and they both have about a two to three feet sea eyes. Neither one of these are beast mode performers. They're meant to sit closer to the skin, be much more refined and sophisticated, a bit more of an upscale wear for a guy who likes to be suave, chic, but still wants to be kind of modern. Both of these will fit the same kind of style personality. I'm going to be much more that boss kind of fragrance. Both are going to be signature scent worthy. It can be worn from t-shirt to tuxedo, inside, outside, anywhere. So if you look at both of these, which one comes out on top? They sound like they're evenly matched. Well, honestly, I have to tell you, the one that comes out on top is Bleu de Chanel Parfum. Why? Because when I think about everything I like to have in a fragrance, I like to have it smell good, I like to have it last long, I like for it to have some kind of sillage and waft throughout the room, but I also like to be able to wear one fragrance most anywhere and not have to think about it. And guys, when it comes right down to it in a head-to-head -head matchup of these two, I gotta give that nod to Blue de Chanel Parfum. Simply put, Chanel just does it better. Now, I have almost the entire Dior Privé line, almost the entire Chanel exclusive line. I like what both I like what both of these houses do with their fragrances. But in my opinion, Chanel just gives you that extra edge when it comes to sophistication class. Yep, sophistication and class. Look, you could easily wear Dior Sauvage Parfum and smell great. But honestly, I think this has a cutoff of around age about 40. This one, on the other hand, 
You can be 95 years old wearing this, still smelling good. This is a lifetime fragrance. This is a good time fragrance. That is how I look at these two when they match head up. Now granted, now granted, Dior Sauvage is no slouch. They took all that shower gel kind of teeny bopper thing out of it and made it much more well-rounded and things like that, but you gotta still look at the spokesperson. It's still Johnny Depp sitting out in front of a campfire. Who's fronting this? A guy in a suit taking care of business. Where are you gonna be more often, in front of a campfire or in a suit taking care of business? That's how I look at these fragrances. Which one is gonna have the most longevity, most impact for most guys' life? And I think it has to be Blue de Chanel Parfum because it takes care of business, literally. But, like I always say, don't just leave it up to me. Hit us up in the comment section, let us know. In a head-to-head -head matchup, in a clash of the titans, when we have Godzilla versus King Ghidorah, or which one do you rate and why? If you like these kind of videos, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and share it out to somebody that you think can use the information. As usual, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Till the next time, talk at you later. Godfather. Hey guys, whether look, style, or life, whether personal or professional, you can level up and be your personal best each and every day. If you're interested in any of that, do us both a favor, follow the link in the description and book your one-on-one -on -one session with me. Details down in the description. Peace.